So this uh, graphical display will help us understand how rate coding and recruitment occur together to produce force in a muscle. So again, we have a theoretical graph with muscle tension on the vertical and then time on the horizontal. And then we have motor unit one represented here, motor unit two here, three, and then four. And we can see that each one of these bars represents uh, an all or nothing stimulus to the muscle fiber which creates a muscle fiber contraction. And so we can see basically the faster that these uh, bars get together, then that's a higher rate of contraction. You can see that basically what's happening here is it's showing us what happens when we start with one motor unit and then after some amount of time we get a second, a third, and a fourth. So essentially what's, what's happening is we're tracking how when we have uh, motor unit one, kind of creating some amount of tension here. We can see, well, there's an initial uh, depolarization, another one, another one. And then they start, they're close enough together, though, that they sum a little bit. So we get that rate coding effect up to about right here. Now, when we um, add to rate coding, we add a second motor unit. And now, immediately, we get this jump uh, in force. So now we have motor unit one plus motor unit two. And we can see that addition in here. And so then as then that starts rate coding, and then at this point we kick in motor unit three and so on. So what we what this graph is illustrating is that muscle force is a combination of one rate coding within each motor unit, and then secondly, recruitment of additional motor units. So there's two uh, dimensions of a neural drive that goes to a muscle that results in muscle force output.